Thanks so much for joining us today for Safety While Climbing, the third webinar in our 2022 Ladder Safety Webinar Series in partnership with Warner. My name is Stephanie Matos, and I'm here from the American Ladder Institute. I'll be passing things over shortly to Angel Jimenez, Job Site Safety and Security Manager at Werner, and Chad D. Lingerfeld, National Safety Training Manager at Werner, who will lead today's presentation. As always, before we begin, a few quick introductions and announcements for those new to this webinar series. The American Ladder Institute, or ALI, is a not-for-profit association dedicated to promoting the safe use of ladders. Its members are affiliated with the ladder and ladder component manufacturing industry, and ALI is the American National Standards Institute approved developer of ladder safety standards. Each mar March, the ALI and its partners sponsor National Ladder Safety Month, a campaign all about promoting the safe use of ladders, both at home and at work. This year is the sixth celebration of National Ladder Safety Month, and we are excited to bring you this series of webinars covering how to safely choose and use ladders. Partnering with ALI for this series is Warner. Warner actively advocates for ladder safety and accident prevention through their range of innovative product solutions, in-person training, and online educational programs. Today's presentation is meant to be interactive. Throughout this presentation, we will be taking questions from attendees using the Q&A feature found at the bottom of your screen. We will add, ask ask and answer those questions at the end of the presentation. As a reminder, this webinar is being recorded and we will share the recording with all attendees later this week, along with a PDF of the presentation. This recording along with the three previous webinars or two previous webinars, excuse me, will be hosted online at LadderSafetyMonth.com. And with that, I'll pass it over to Angel and Chad. Hello everyone, my name is Angel Jimenez. Thank you, Stephanie. I am the Job Site Safety Training Security Manager covering the Northeast. And my job, 100% is to making sure that all men and women working on the field make it home at the end of the day. Uh, by providing training and proper use of old Warner for protection products, providing support to our distributing partners in the region and across the USA. Chad? Hello, everyone. Glad you could join us today. My name is Chad Lingerfeld, just like Angel here. I cover the U.S., and I'm uh, glad to be here today and glad to be able to participate and, as he said, help everyone go home at the end of the day. Thank you so much for joining. Again, guys, we're going to proceed for the next slide. So here at Warner, this is some of the five pillars that we live by. We compete as a team. As a team. Yes, we do. From the boots on the ground to our technical experts, we have an immense team working very hard to making sure that all men and women make it home at the end of the day. Uh, so we're celebrating 100 years of climbing at Werner Call, we're not only been helping people work at heights for 100 years, we're now we're keeping them there safe with Werner Fall Protection. We care for our customers and our end users and the communities that we live in, 100%. Uh, we like to think ourselves as an innovation house, helping people work at heights, like I said. And we take great pride in what we do. Chad, anything you want to add? Just innovation is our key core value and integrity before, above all. Thank you. Moving on. Warner Co. Warner Co. is, I would say, the only company in the world that can help with the top 10 of the OSHA citations. We cover four of those. Four protection and general requirements, ladders, scaffolding, and four protection training requirements. Uh, as we say, in job sites, the main goal is making sure those guys are working properly, choosing the right ladder, uh, choosing the right ladder for the application and making sure that everything is covered when it comes to the safety standpoint. We take great pride in what we do and feel free to reach out to any one of us from the JSS team to come to one of the sites or distributing house to help you with any needs that you have on training, product knowledge and, and everything else. Anything you want to add, Chad? No, just as you said, we're the only manufacturer in the world that can help you with the uh, OSHA top four that we're aware of. Thank you. Moving on. Ladder inspection forms. These are available to download on our website. This is extremely valuable when you're doing an inspection on a ladder, making sure that ladders are inspected before every use. Okay? Not a lot of moving parts on a ladder, so take your time to inspect everything is working properly, nothing broken, uh, and uh, everything is in good conditions before uh, before climbing. A lot of safety, proper use of climbing. How many points of contact? 
I'm gonna tell you guys a brief story on how important it is to making sure that every man and woman are using ladders appropriately on the job site. Uh, in a very popular job site in New York City, about uh, I would say about a year ago, around this time, uh, we had a guy using enough A-frame extension ladder, A-frame ladder on a leaning position. He fell, broke a leg, unfortunately. The whole job site was shut down for proper training uh, when it comes to use of ladders. Uh, you want to check with your DOB, depending on where you're located in New York City, OSHA, but this is extremely important to make sure the guys are aware of proper use uh, of the equipment. Three points of context, it's important to maintain at all times, two feet, one hand. Anybody working above six foot needs to be tied off, meaning you need to be tied off to the structure. So in the event of you uh, slipping or walking the ladder inappropriately, you're making sure you don't hit the ground. Always face the ladder when climbing up or down. Never walk the ladder. It's not only unsafe, but it damages the ladder. Make sure your belt buckles between the rails. As you can see here in this picture, this guy attempting a ballerina move. It's not only unsafe, but you can prevent uh, a fall from falling from the ladder. The top two steps of the ladders are never to be used and never sit on the cap of the ladder. This is not designed for it and you will lose your balance. Sitting or standing on the top of the ladder does not give you three points of contact and it's dangerous. Avoiding sitting the ladders and doorways, pedestrians, or any path where heavy traffic or equipment, such as forklifts or anything like that, could be on the way. Adam, anything you want to add? Good. Okay, moving on. Dewey ratings. This is very important when choosing a ladder. Keep in mind that only 300 and 375 pounds of ladder ratings are allowed on job sites. Because we're carrying excess amount of gear when we're working, doing installations overhead. So you wanna make sure you choose the right ladder when, uh, when uh, choosing the job. Uh, all the uh, list labels are required by ANSI and all manufacturers are using it, okay? Uh, color indicator, making sure they're using the right one. Exceeding low capacity could cause the ladder to collapse. Anything, Chad? No, just uh, make, sure, make, make sure everybody understand that there is no code for colors, that the colors is just uh, manufacturer only, and that make sure you're looking at the label to make sure you know the weight of the ladder that's going, you're going to be using. And the pros should only be using 300 pounds and above that Angel's getting ready to talk about. That's correct. So don't think because the ladder, it's yellow or orange. We make a 375 pounds that has a orange sticker on it and vice versa. So make sure you take the time to inspect it before climbing that ladder. Always look at the labels before using the Warner, okay? Five most common causes for ladder accidents. Missing the last step when climbing a ladder, okay? Exercise caution when climbing a ladder. Always face the ladder when climbing up or down and don't skip a step. Very important, overreaching while climbing the ladder. We see this every time on a job site. It takes two seconds for you to climb back down that ladder, move it to the right or left, position it to the location that you wanna to be to avoid any accidents. The ladder is not the right size for the job. This happens all the time. Sitting on the top of the ladder, like I said, it's not only gonna cause you to lose the balance, but it could prevent something very bad happening on the job site. You have to make sure that the ladder is on firm ground and on level ground, okay? Clear the trash, construction materials, and anything that might obstruct the positioning of the ladder. Three points of contact are not used when climbing a ladder. I see this all the time. Take your time to inspect ladders. Take your time to make sure that you're using the right ladder, the right rating for the job, and take your time to look at your surroundings. We designed recently I was saying about a year ago, a walkthrough. This is perfectly designed when you use an extension ladder as you have to position the four to one ratio. For every four to foot of, of, of high wall, you have to make sure that the ladder is one foot back. This is a perfect accent. When walking at heights, you wanna make sure that you have a third point of contact from positioning from the roof to the, to the ladder and vice versa. This comes with a gate, is aluminum. 
This one in 2021, best in show, fits in all of our existing la extension ladders. Application is gonna be for roof and any open level access. 24%, 25% lighter than a competitor models. It has dual clamping system connecting at the flight section of the ladder. Any questions, chat? No, just go back to the OSHA top 10. If you look at the OSHA top 10, this is the number one when it comes to, uh, we look at this one here, we see ladders here, number three. When you see that top three, uh, people not extending three feet above, those extensions Correct. really help with that. So as we look at that and we think that through, let's uh, make sure we're getting that three foot. And Angel, if you can go two more slides forward to where we have the four and one, please. Right here. So this is a big deal. Big deal. Somehow, Angel, we skipped this slide. So go ahead and walk through this one, please, sir. Oh, yes, absolutely. So for every foot of wall height, the ladder must be positioned one foot away. The proper way to anchor the ladder, four to one, is every stop, okay? So we need to make sure that three rungs are above the roof line. And this is where the, the walkthrough comes in perfect, uh, comes very handy. I always make sure your feet are flat and level. When loading and unloading the ladder, take caution. Check flippers, and make sure they're engaged, make sure that you're inspecting your rope, and it's in good, secure condition. Especially when it's windy, high winds, you wanna make sure you secure the ladder. Ensure that the ladder is clean, from oils, any debris, any asphalt from shingles, any liquids, et cetera. Ensure that the ladder, make sure that only one uh, person is climbing unless the ladder is designed for two or more people. So one at a time. I think, I think we covered this. I'm gonna start sharing, stop sharing. If anybody has any questions. everyone at this time. If you have any questions, please feel free to put them in the Q&A box or you can go on ahead and just type them in the chat. Yes, so someone's asking about the inspection form just to go to winterco.com and uh, go over to support, scroll down, and you'll find that form uh, very easy. Or if you go into the search box and put ladder inspection, that will also come up. So to be able to get the address there for the inspection form, and you can download it as many as you would like. So there's so many different ways you can do this. Uh, it all depends on what structure, you're, as you said there, as you stated, what structure you're going into and how you can tie off to it. Uh, the key thing is, is just making sure it's stable and you can tie off. Some people do go, tie, uh, go to the top of the roof and use an anchor point and tie off that way. Uh, most people don't though, but just find some way to do that. There's, it all, it's, that's a really hard uh, question to answer unless we're there on site to be able to see that. Is that okay, Justin? Does that answer your question? Yes, we can show it again. Uh, go ahead and show the uh, adapter again there, Angel. Walk through? Yes, sure. Yes, they're asking to see that. So, yes, it is three feet. Actually, just a little bit taller than three feet, so it acts as the three rungs, if you will allowing you to do that. It comes with the gate or without. Some GCs require a gate at the top, so that's why you say the gate. You do not. It's not required to have the gate. That's just above and beyond best practice. Got to see a hair killer? Yes. Good questions. Stephanie, there's no more questions. We're willing to stick around for a while if there, just to see if there is any more. We have another, another couple seconds, another few seconds. I know typing takes a second. So if there's any other questions, 
I'm keeping an eye out. Going once. Going twice. All right. All right, then. Then with that, I would like to thank everyone for joining us today, and a big thanks to Angel and Chad for sharing their expertise with us. We do hope that you have enjoyed this week's ladder safety webinar um, and that you found safety best practices to use on the job and at home. As a reminder, you can find the recording of each webinar in this series at Ladder Safety Series Online at laddersafetymonth.com, along with additional safety resources. Thanks again to Warner and Chad and Angel for sponsoring, you know, thanks again for Warner for sponsoring it, and thank you to Chad and Angel for hosting it, and thank all of you for joining us and being so engaged throughout the month. Um, and with that, y'all, happy National Ladder Safety Month. Thank you, everyone. Thanks.